Okay, in this tutorial we're going to cover the site settings. When you log into the builder, up in the top left hand corner is this little uh, gear icon. Clicking on that you'll get two options, site settings and page settings. If I click on site settings, these are settings that are going to be global across my site. The options that you have here are the site name. You're going to want to make this, you know, whatever um, whatever you're calling your website. The subdomain is going to be, you know, you're going to just typically be your first name, last name, dot realvolution.com. Now, if you're using your own domain name, you're simply going to paste that in here. And we'll, in another tutorial, we'll walk you through how to set up your domain name. And then this is where your Google Analytics code could go and your Google Tag Manager. So if you're using tracking, that's is where you'd put that code that you get from Google, and I'll, I'll hit that in another tutorial. The site styles is where you'd set things like your navigation styles and menu styles. The MLS details, this is where you're going to want to make sure your MLS information is correct, so that you have the right state, right MLS. You're also going to want to have your either your office ID or your agent ID as well. This is how we can determine um, to pull in things like your properties to display them as featured properties in the search results and in the featured property content blocks. Custom settings. This is something that most of the time you're not going to deal with, but sometimes we have like custom tracking code or things of that nature that need to be added into the headers or into the bodies. This is where you would put that information in. This section down here is, is something that does not need to be uh, dealt with. Site logo. This is where you can upload the logo that you want to use uh, across the site and all the content blocks that use the required logo. Um, we'll pull the logo from this area. And then your agent photo. Um, this is also an area where you can upload your photo and have it uh, display in certain areas within the site. Let's talk about page settings. Page settings is mostly for SEO. So this is what is going to be displayed in the browser when you're on that page. Meta description. This is what's going to tell Google what that page is about. And then any you know, header or body include files. Um, for that particular page that you might want to have. And that's just a real fast overview about some of the uh, different settings.